Well, we're at episode 57 of Ask the Night, and this is a very first special edition to the Firebird Phoenix. Hello, good sir. And your first question is, I know you're not a big Star Wars fan, that's pretty much evident, but thoughts on episode 7 so far? Well, the fact, I mean, the fact that Disney bought up the uh, Lucas, you know, Lucas Arts, Lucas Films, whatever the title is, comment section below because I, I really can't remember it half the time. Um, it, you know, it was inevitable that Disney would make another Star Wars movie because, you know, it's a, you know, huge, you know, tried and tested brand that people love and adore. So I think for them to make another Star Wars movie, continuing the events after Episode 6, and keep in mind it's been, what, nearly 30 years since the events of that, but, you know, Episode 6 from... I've only ever seen it like once or twice, but in both those occasions, awesome. That is all that can be said for that movie, and... I think it's just to, you know, with the likes of J.J. Abrams, just to want to, you know, take it in a new direction, see where the story goes. I say, let him do it. Go ahead. It's a great idea. Question two. Let's say Pontiac is coming back. Personally, I would love that. And you, along with your choice of people, were in charge of bringing the Firebird back. What would it look like in your mind, all the way down to the smallest detail? I have ideas myself, but I'd like to hear what you have in mind. Good question. I'd like to say... I'd like to see the people that have worked on the Camaro in like the last six to seven years, along with designers that worked on the Trans Am in the mid-80s and mid-90s, just to sort of all come together in a similar vein to how they updated the Ford Mustang for its uh, 50th anniversary this year, and be able to do what the production designers have been able to have referred to as these cues and nods, so that you'll look at the Trans Am and be able to see that, you know, it's a brand new machine for a new age, but at the same time, there's all these little nods and references to what we've seen with the Trans Am throughout, you know, like the last 30 to 40 years or so. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what I'd like to see in regards to the Trans Am for a new age, um, I'd like to see something... Um, very specific, you know, that looked very similar to the 80s design, you know, and of course that, you know, little nods that were used with Knight Rider, but at the same time be able to look at it and real notice that it's modern. Um, in regards to the dashboard, you know, I have seen how the dash looks in um, the third generation Firebird, and... Maybe have an emphasis on that, but with something very update, very updated, very you know digital looking. Have digital gauge readouts, and you know definitely bring back the T tops. I don't know why they got taken away because you know you could easily unhinge them, put them back in, or an idea I would like is what if they had. They took what they did for Kit in Season 4, but be able to implement that into the Trans Am. Be able to have a hard top convertible, but also included the T-tops. It's just an idea. So that is something I would like to see done with the Trans Am. Just something very modern, but at the same time, look and think. I recognise those details. Um... Thoughts on, on question three, thoughts on how Sonic Archie is doing story-wise so far, if you've read any of the new issues. Um, I've not been keeping up too many tabs on the Archie series, not through a lack of trying, it's simply because um, 
I have so many things on my plate to deal with on a daily basis and then into a weekly basis that I have to be able to find time, you know, find time to be able to um, weigh up, you know, and organize my time um, as accordingly because I have to, you know, I, I do these videos and then I have to, you know, go to work and then I've got to weigh up what projects I work on next and find time to, you know, sleep and be able to enjoy my free time as well. So, like I say, I'm not, you know, not keeping up with the comics, not for a lack of trying. It's simply because, you know, I've got to manage my time as I need to. Hope that answers your question, Phoenix. As usual, folks, this is the end of the episode. And if you wish to send a question to me, send one to any of the social media links in the outro, comment section below, or to the forum. And as usual, thank you for your time, and ask again.